It is indeed. And there is, of course, a class uh, barrier as well. South Africans, because they come from a much larger economy, much more. What if I waited till late in the day and then just turned the camera on? What if I didn't have time to edit the thing and had to just put up with the thoughts that came tumbling out of the top of my head, stammering and stuttering and filled with awkward pauses and plain dead air when I didn't, when I just didn't have anything to say? We're going to the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books tomorrow and Sunday. That should give me plenty of interesting footage although it's going to be tough to get it edited and uploaded each night. Last year I recorded so much that it led to a major computer crash. I've gotten better at managing my memory since then though, so hopefully that won't be a problem. And two years ago it was going to the book festival that I drove off with my iPhone on the roof of the car until it flew off in the middle of the I-10 freeway. That wasn't one of my better moves. And even then the festival was great. It's a shame neither John or Lori is going to be there this year but still a ton of my favorite authors to see, and new ones to discover. The one thing about the festival that does always make me sad is remembering Ned Vizzini, listening to him speak two years ago. It's not hard to write a novel, he said. Just take whatever's going on in your life and add a love triangle and you've got it. He was joking, of course, but he seemed so happy. He really seemed to have his depression beaten. It's the one sad part of festival. The only sad part of this year's festival is that I'll be there on Sunday, which means I won't be in Detroit when Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers are playing there on my birthday. I'll be 57 on Sunday. I'll be 57 and and doing Vita. What the hell is a 57-year-old man doing posting a vlog on YouTube every day for a month in April? Could be worse. I could be golfing. It's a cliche, but I should do one of those AMA things. Invite people to ask me anything because it's my birthday. I have no secrets. I wonder if there's anything interesting about the perspective of a 57-year-old man on YouTube that anyone here would like to hear. Hank, Michael, John, they're all senior to most of the YouTube viewers and I'm old enough to be their fathers. It's weird to think that the guys putting SciShow together weren't alive to watch the moon landing. I know why I'm a 57-year-old man on YouTube. It's because I have had such a freaking good life and it's not done yet. So maybe I have something to share and And this is such a bizarre and wonderful trip, I don't want to be left behind either. So yeah, I might have some surprises, something unexpected. Go ahead, ask me anything. Simple or profound, trivial, significant, or obscene. Anything anyone is curious about, I'd be keen to try and answer. Just don't forget to be awesome. I'll talk to you again, soon, hopefully.